We are minutes out from going to Town Hall 6, but first I owe you a farming strategy and how I collected the resources at Town Hall 5. Stay tuned. On guys joe here coming at you today from town hall 5 and we are minutes out from going to town hall 6 really excited about this but first i owe you a farming strategy or how i collected resources down here at town hall 5 uh, we're going to take a look at two different strategies very similar strategies and if you stay tuned to the end of the video i'll do a little bit of a live raid that way you can understand exactly what i'm doing and how we're collecting those resources let's get into it okay so there are not a lot of options at town hall 5 so i'm really narrowed it down to this army i enjoyed this army at the end let's take a look at it quickly we got 14 giants four wall breakers 14 wizards a little bit of a heavy side on the wizards they are kind of expensive and then you also have uh, the clan castle troops i bring hog riders from my clan mates i understand that some of you guys out there might not have that option however if you bring higher level troops in the clan castle it'll definitely help you out down here at town hall five now step one i do zoom all the way out and try to identify any uh, the builders huts in the corners to make sure i take care of those i do want to stay up here in silver league that's relatively a good spot for town hall five to not you know face a lot of hard bases but also still find pretty decent loot so as i start the replay here we're going to zoom back in on the base and we did drop an archer up there to take care of that builder and then i drop a wizard right here in order to identify and look to see if there's any troops in the clan castle first before i drop my giants i don't want to kill off the giants immediately by finding balloons or something in the clan castle troops then next up i'll have my giants dropped in a group to kind of tank for my wizards i'll drop the wizards to start working behind them and then i'll drop a couple of wall breakers to open up the compartment or open up the walls to send my giants in spring traps will take out your giants so that's something to take into consideration and then i'm also going to bring in my hog riders on the opposite side of the base to assist the giants the giants are only level two down here at town hall five so i have to take that into consideration and they are very weak compared to higher level giants and we have to kind of compensate for the weakness of those and we have to protect our wizards so you know first you're going to drop your giants then you're going to drop your wizards behind them not too far out around them and you want to drop your wall breakers to open up the wall allowing the defenses to target the giants and then allowing the wizards to work behind them really good army and it's pretty decent for town hall five it works with lower level troops as well next up i have this alternate army that i was using prior to the 14 wizards and we have 15 giants this time we have five wall breakers 26 archers and only six wizards this time a little bit of a cheaper army than the previous army shown and then again i also have the hog riders in the clan castle now in the attack i do forget to you know follow my own advice and zoom all the way out and hit all the buildings on the outsides of the base so what ultimately happens is first i check the clan castle with the archer nothing is in the clan castle a little bit of a dead base here not a big deal but the defenses are slightly higher and i believe this is a town hall six actually so we're facing a town hall six versus you know from a, you know as a town hall five but the same concept as before dropping the giants allowing them to tank for our wizards then following it up with a group of wizards to help them out and take care of the defenses ahead of them you really got to get the support troops you can't group up the wizards it doesn't necessarily help them to be all grouped up you can kind of spread them out and then i bring the archers in behind them there's really alternate methods of doing this and then i use the wall breakers again to open the compartment and allow the giants to go in so i'm not dropping all of my wall breakers at once i'm setting them in in pairs of two and then i also bring in the hog riders from the opposite side of the base again to kind of help out the giants so the giants are moving into the final cannons and then the wall you know, the hog riders over there have worked through the defenses over here in order to take down the archer that's not an archer tower that's definitely air defense and then a mortar and then they're going to go in and assist with taking out the cannons as you can tell that the giants are still not that strong we were facing a town hall six here so the defenses are slightly heavier or hit a lot harder than the town hall five ones do so again this is a very you know it, it works just as well as the last uh, strategy that i showed you realistically you know we're going to get all the defenses or all of the resources off of this base and move on to the next i do three star every single base down here at town hall five because i do attempt to try to push up as high as i possibly can in preparation to go to town hall six so let's go ahead and get into that next attack which is going to be a live attack guys okay so we got a pretty good amount of loot here and i really kind of like this one because everything is really stacked on top of each, you know each other as the defense so uh the defenses are kind of stacked and everything there's not a lot of room for springs or anything like that in here so we're going to probably hit this base uh let's go ahead and zoom out step one let's go ahead and drop some stuff out here to take care of these buildings 
and let's go ahead and do that over here well we're going to move everything towards the opposite side that way we can you know get everything on the back end of the attack so you know next up we're going to drop all of our giants oh you kind of spread them out and then you're going to drop your wizards you can do it one finger or you can spread the fingers however you choose to do it and then now that they're working i'm gonna send the wall breakers and you got to pay attention for the mortar drop the mortar will shoot off a, a shot and you got to kind of time it right for the wall breakers or you will lose the wall breakers and now we you know we don't have heal spells yet that's at town hall six so we need some help here uh we are going to lose our giants let's go ahead and bring our hog riders in on the opposite side of the base uh the town hall is down what wizards are doing well but the giants are going down very very fast check it out they're really red and they're about to go down so we got to hope that our hog riders can do the job uh, they are a higher level hog, so you know they do very well down here at the Town Hall 5 range or within the Silver League range. And now our Giants are officially down to the final two in the core there. Wizards are still working. Hog Riders are working over there. And let's go ahead and drop these Wall Breakers. I personally don't like to bring troops back in the lower Town Halls because then i got to basically recook the army. So it looks like we are, in fact, going to lose all of our Hog Riders. So now you can kind of really see firsthand how weak the giants are down here so that's definitely going to be one of the first upgrades in the laboratory once we go to town hall six which should be already happening i don't have a watch on i don't even know why i checked skin 30 over here but yeah so uh you know we collected a decent amount of loot we are going to lose our wizards so now you see the significance of the giants the giants are extremely important and if they don't survive uh, you know, we could have brought our hog riders in on the opposite side of the base, but it really doesn't matter. So uh, I'm looking pretty good for loot, and I should be able to build the defenses or the new structures available at Town Hall 6 to include walls. And we should have enough to base off of that, base off of what's in my clan castle uh, treasury. So anyways, that's going to wrap us up for this video, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the content today, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I really hope to see you at Town Hall 6. Take care, guys. <laughs>